Trump uh, was at the RNC again with the Secret Service. Mm. All the Secret Service there were men. There's no women with him there. That's because the game's been raised now. Yeah. The game's raised. It's like we want the best now because yeah. they could be going after Trump again. Yeah. And we've had a warning. Yeah. If he dies on our watch now, the yeah. heads are going. Yeah. Our heads are all if he yeah. dies now. So somebody in the Secret Service has said, no more little women. Yeah. Get big men round him. Yeah. Big, get all our best guys with him. Yeah. Covering this guy now yeah, because we, we if we if he dies now, Our career co- over. At the, their careers are over and the country <laughs> will explode. No. If Trump gets assassinated now, I th- I'm not sure. It may have been rioting if he'd been killed, but I think if it happens now, then either way, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it huge. Just if, be, if he'd have died on Saturday, huge violence. I think if he it, dies now, even just as much. Yeah, like, just chaos. So. He emerged at the RNC, so the Republican National Convention is where he will be officially designated as the Republican candidate. And again, admiration for Trump, he came out, he had a bandage on his, I don't know if you've seen the videos, he came out with a bandage on on his ear. Uh, and, And what was interesting was there was a massive round of applause as he initially emerged and then everybody went quiet. And they didn't go quiet because they didn't think it was, I think they were kind of, I, I think they were overcome in the moment when he came out. And the expression mm. on his face, he was he was subdued, mm. as you would be. You know, I mean, you had your incident with Antifa mm. where you, you ran off the stage at high speed. But he was obviously emerging into the public eye again, into an arena where potentially he could be shot again. Shot again. Yeah. And it, he looked defiant. He mm. looked, but I think when the applause was happening, there were... I think there was some tears in his eyes. He looked, he looked emotional. It shot to his son. Mm. I can't remember. What it's, is he called Donald Trump Jr.? Mm. I think it was. His son had tears in his, his eyes as well. And but he just looked very presidential. Very, very. You know, he looked, and I thought, flipping out this guy. He, he's <clears> going to be the president, isn't he? Basically, mm. because he just looked. I, I just thought it was a, a very, very emotional moment when he came out. Basically. Look at his face. I could see, you yeah. could see he was still shaken, and obviously it, reflecting on what had happened. But he, he had that same mm. defiance, him. and the people in the room could see it. Yeah. And they they initially applauded wildly, and then it went very very yeah. quiet. But not quiet because they don't admire him. Quiet because I think they were reflecting as well yeah. on the moment. These are narratives of superheroes mm. and of our heroes and legends, as in something bad happens to you, you get back up, you face it head on, you're not a coward, you don't run off stage. <clears throat> um, and so he inadvertently he's taken on the mantle of hero now and legend that you can even, you can shoot me yeah. and I still get back up yeah. and I don't stop what I'm doing yeah. and I don't go hiding and I don't cancel all my engagements. I'm here now stood in front of you again with a bandage on my head and they can take another shot at me, but they can't kill me. Yeah. I think you're right. Inadvertently, I think now his legend is going to be greater than him. I mean, it's already pretty impressive, yeah, his yeah. legend. But I think it's almost going to overtake him now. Yeah. He's going to become more than maybe we think he is. And it's interesting. I, I want to talk about... We're going to talk about reactions to the, sh- to the shooting. I'd like to talk about um, Biden first. Because Biden, and again, I don't know if you saw this, because this was me watching TV at yeah. 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know how many times he's spoken on this Biden, but I certainly saw when he came out. Biden came out. He was lucid. Yeah. He was very lucid. So we weren't seeing the shambling wreck at the, yeah. of the debate. He was lucid. He was clear. He referred to Donald Trump as Donald, not Trump. Yeah. He's always said Trump, this, yeah. Trump, blah, whatever. He said the right things. He said, you know, we, we need to, you know, this is unacceptable political violence like this, you know. And he said, I've heard, I think Donald's okay. I'm going to try and speak to him later. This is, uh, yeah. My thoughts go out to his, you know, uh, it, my thoughts go out to the person who was killed. Uh-huh. And it was, I would say it's the best thing I've seen him done in his, in his presidency in terms of the way he came yeah. across at that at that conference. It's, it's the only thing Biden could have done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But what was amazing was, he seemed far more lucid, coherent, and articulate than I've seen him before. He just woke up. <laughs> he just woke up, pumped him with drugs, and he's only got <laughs> a couple of minutes to say something. Yeah. There we go. I'm trying to imbue Biden with some some uh, some positive characteristics here. 
but but yeah, it was. I was really yeah. impressed. But I nobody was, in those situations want their political political enemy shot and assassinated. No, because they come for me Correct. next. Yeah, yeah. And and you know we we don't want to get into a habit of killing each other because I'm a politician as well. Yeah, yeah. So they do have some sense of self preservation, and we don't want to be the ones who open the gates to to normalising assassination because many of us will go. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers, I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.